G'day, it's Phil here, and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be looking through $2 coins again, looking for commemorative coins, rare coins, and coins worth more than face value. Again, we've got my $2 collection book here, already partly filled with the uh, commemorative coins that we've found so far, commemorative and coloured coins. And we're really looking for two, 2015 Centenary of Anzac Cove, and the 2017 Remembrance Day Rosemary for Remembrance. We have all of the other colored and commemorative coins that fit into this Royal Australian Mint collection book. I'll put that to the side and grab a roll and let's get into the coins. As we go through, I'll be looking through both the uh, obverse and reverse, both sides of the coin. Just looking for the commemorative coins, seeing if we can find those elusive two coins that we need to finish the book off. And if we can get into this roll, this tightly rolled roll of $50 coins, $50 worth of $2 coins, sorry. That is the standard uh, $2 coin design, the Aboriginal Elder. And I'll be looking for the years of low mintage, 2011, as well as not intended for circulation years, 1991. And if we find one of those, we'll be very, very happy. But also the colored commemorative coins that started in 2012. So as we go through the coins, I'll be also looking for any planchet errors or rim cards, any other types of errors that the $2 coin has, which is honestly not that many. We'll try and find the two books. There's a 2017. We'll see if that is going to be a rosemary. No, it's not. And so when I see the dates like this, I know that 2006, it's, it's not going to be anything because it is before colored and commemorative coins started coming out. I still look for some errors on them as they come through. 1992, too bad, but not the one we're looking for. It's another 2017, no. And then we have it for our first roll. Got $500 worth of these, these rolls, so 10 rolls all up. As we go through, I'll, I'll give you a bit of Coin news as well, $2 hunts uh, times for the coin news. It's good this week. I do actually have some coin news since the last time we spoke. Uh, there have been a couple of determinations come out on the Australian government website, the legislation website that tells us what coins are slated or approved for manufacture. Oh, there's a coloured coin. We have a 2021. This is the Dorothy the Dinosaur, the Red, uh, sorry, not red, it's yellow. The yellow ring of uh, the Wiggles. 30th anniversary of the Wiggles in 2021. And as a four coin set, Dorothy the Dinosaur, one of the characters from the Wiggles. And we'll put that up there. Have that as our first colored commemorative. It's always part of the set that was issued through Woolworths. So technically a corporate program coin. 2021 in good nick, but not a commemorative. And so we have two types of coins realistically. We have the Royal Australian Mint issued coins and then we have the corporate program joint coins that were issued and sold uh, through either Woolworths or another partner such as Australia Post, stuff like that. And they're always lower minted, uh, but they do, they do seem to be out there quite a bit for many years. The hardest one of those to find is now the 2016 Olympic coins. We have an Olympic year this year, so we should be seeing more colored coins this year in the $2 main. But Olympics is uh, still a month or so away, so I haven't seen any of those yet, and I haven't seen any talk about them, although there should be something on the Facebook groups. There's always people very interested in colored coins and what's going on with those and what's coming out. Sometimes we get Bit of a sneak peek with uh, staff within Woolworths releasing sometimes ooh, 17, sometimes uh, early pictures. It's a 2015, that would be nice if this one was one of the good ones. No, just an Aboriginal elder. And so, yes, we, we do have some coin news this week. Uh, oh, that's very dirty, that one. We've got Royal Australian Mint news as well as the Perth Mint news. Perth Mint has been really going for it. 
looks like they've uh, opened the floodgates. They're actually um, got many uh, advice of designs for next year. And it being only June, next year, 2025, we've got a number of uh, coin designs gone through legislation. It will be the year of the snake next year. So there's uh, a ton, a lot of coins that have been slated to be designed and uh, issued through the Perth Mint for the year of the snake. I won't go through them all like I usually do because it, there is actually too many to do that and have a decent hunt at the same time. But the Royal Australian Mint news came out early, I think it was at somewhere between the 4th and the 6th of June. The legislation hit the website. What are we doing here? Got, oh, I was talking about that Olympic coins being hard to find and we have the green ring of the 2016 uh, Rio Olympic set it's not in great nick though but the green is still quite nice looking but uh, very very dirty that's definitely a nice coin to keep but it's not in great nick it wouldn't, wouldn't sell for much over base value realistically but that makes the hunt all the better for a older colored coin still, still turning up every now and again and i did hear and read a comment from a viewer who found a coronation as an ender in the last couple of weeks and that to me sounds like a spectacular ender find I had my own spectacular ender finds lately but coronation would be a very special coin but going back to the coin news so we've got uh advice of the 50 cent piece which is the Christ christmas coin so the 2024 Christmas festive uh, floral coin, uh, that's going to come out obviously closer to Christmas. And uh, yeah, they've legislated for that. And then we've got our $1 uh, uncirculated coin for the year. We usually have a couple of uh, $1 uncirculated coins. We've already had the, uh, out, of the out of this world, the space coin. Oh, there's another colored coin. Look at that. Another yellow ring similar to Dorothy, but this is the Matildas, the uh, Australian women's football team, national football team, the Matildas, established in 1978 there. We've got the yellow ring with the squares and circles of the design. 2023 Memorial Effigy on it, $2 on the obverse. So a very, very nice coin. Lower minted, definitely. So very happy to be picking up one of those. As I was saying, the, the $1 coin, we already had the Out of This World come out, they come out in cards, and that's the four mint mark set. But we'll also have the Centenary of Cobb & Co's Last Coach Passenger Service, $1 uncirculated coin, just by itself. So it'll be a carded coin like the other uh, years where we have a $1 carded coin. Doesn't look like it's going to have a preview mark, doesn't look like it's going to be coloured, it's just a $1 uh, of Cobb & Co last coach passenger service. So that'll be coming out probably later in the year, August, September. We'll see. I don't actually know. I'm just making that up. Uh, we, we don't get any of that information. We just know what they're going to be and what they're going to look like by description. So the description is a background representing a path trailing through various or varying terrain leading towards a station and in the foreground representation of four horses drawing a loaded coach with a coachman holding a whip and reins and their design includes a description saying uh, Cobb and Co last coach service and then we'll have the years and then we'll have the nomination on that side on the, on the uh, reverse side so new one dollar coin coming out and then also another yearly thing that happens Pretty much every year these years is the 20 cent uh, design for a children's book. And this year it's going to be the 20th anniversary of Where is the Green Sheep? Where is the Green Sheep is another Mem Fox children's book. It's been around for obviously 20 years now. And we're going to get a coloured uncirculated coin as well as a coloured gold plated uncirculated coin. So we'll probably have a card very similar to the... Uh, the last uh, couple of years where we have an individual 20 cent card and then there'll be a, a more premium colored gold plated uncirculated coin 
So that was the advice from the Royal Australian Mint of coins that are coming out ooh, a bit later on in the year. Oh, and another coloured coin and something we haven't seen for a while. It is the Wallabies coin. So this is from 2019. This is the Wallabies coin. This was actually celebrating the Rugby World Cup in 2019. That was happened in Japan. The coin came out just in time for that competition. As a bit of a backstory, I actually went to that competition in Japan and I took about oh, I took about five or five or seven of these in cards over there and swapped them and gave them out to uh, other travelers and uh, Japanese people over there. That was that was a I must say that was a pretty good trip going to the World Cup in Japan in 2019. Went there with my uncle, one of the big rugby fans, and we had slated that trip for about four years from uh, previously. We invited the whole family, but they all originally said, yeah, they were going to come. But by the time the year rocked around 2019, it was just me and my uncle, but we, were, we went and we had a fantastic time. So that coin has a bit of meaning to me, and I do have quite a few of them still bumping around in the collection. There is oh, another 2017. There is the fourth last roll. Got three rolls to go. Put them in screen there. We'll see how it goes. Now, if I go back to the Perth Mint determination, the Perth Mint determination was a little bit earlier. Uh, there was one in uh, near the end of May, and there's also one on the 4th of June. One most recent one, as I say, it's got a lot, a lot, a lot of coins. So probably one of the premium coins is the Brumby coin, the, the $1, one ounce silver Brumby coin. One of the investment coins that the Perth Mint uh, does do. And then there's a base metal citizenship coin, and you'll see those in previous years as part of PNCs usually, in conjunction with the uh, Australia Post. So a citizenship, citizenship medal. And then we have the Great Sutherland series. Uh, and I've got uh, two ounce gold, an ounce silver, and then another two ounce silver. We've got the Ocean Mother of Pearl. And then we've got the Rainforest. I don't know how to say it, but Chrysophase insert. So I think they've done Chrysophase before. It's a greeny sort of mineral. And I think that's it for the Great Southern Land. But then there's also the uh, Kookaburra, Silver Kookaburra, two ounce Silver Kookaburra. And then it goes on. To what some more bullion type coins, there's a, a one kilogram gold kangaroo coin. That's a three thousand dollar coin. That's one kilogram of gold, big one. And then we've got gold kangaroos in the one ounce, half ounce, quarter ounce, and tenth ounce. And then they go on to the silver coins uh, for the silver koala. So I've got a kangaroo and a koala coming out. Got, uh, one kilo, one ounce, two ounce, or of one quarter ounce gold and oh no sorry I'll put them together there we've got the one kilo silver and the one ounce silver of the koala coins and then there's a new mythical creatures uh, coin and the mythical creatures is the dragon we'll see another mythical creatures coin the dragon a pied foot coin two ounce silver which is double sized quarter ounce gold and a quarter ounce platinum mythical creatures dragon coin so we'll see them later in the year and then it goes on to at least uh, 20 20 to 25 snake coins and they're all dated 2025 there's a lot of uh, 2024 and 2025 uh, dated coins with the kangaroos and the uh, koalas are also dated 2025. 20, so Perth Mint getting well ahead in advance for next year, uh, probably because they will be starting to mint them throughout the later part of the year and selling them there. We have another uh, memorial effigy on a 2023 coin, so it's going to be something with the denomination there on the obverse. What have we got? Oh, another Matilda's coin, the same kind. So we've got two of the yellow rings there. It's the first time in a while we've had a double up uh, on those coins. It's a very nice 
uh, row of coins there at the moment. It's not too bad at all. But yeah, this uh, the Perth Mint Snake coin. There'll be lots of silver, up to 10 kilos. There'll be um, colored snake coins. There'll be uh, proof coins, uh, high relief coins, gold plated coins, gold coins, colored gold coins, high relief gold coins. There's just going to be a plethora of snakes for the year of the snake in 2025. We have another memorial effigy, but this one, or oh, actually no, it's not a memorial effigy, but it is an effigy with the uh, denomination there on the obverse and it's from 2020. So hopefully this is gonna be something good. Let's have a look at it. Oh, it's the uh, Australian Olympic team, the dedication, the green ring of dedication. You haven't seen any of those for a while. This one's quite dirty, actually, quite dirty. The 2020 uh, Olympic coins not issued until 2021 because the Olympics were postponed because of the pandemic at that time. But not bad. We suit. We have seen plenty of those over the journey. Plenty. 1997. No, it's going to be fine. And the last coin for this roll, 2014. So I only got one roll to go. We've gone through the news. Tons of snake coins from the Perth Mint and their usual fare. But well into the year 2025, uh, hopefully they'll have they've had a, not a bit of a backlog, but there was a bit of a hiatus on, on uh, determinations of coins because of the change of effigy. Hopefully they're back on track now. But also the $1.00 uncirculated coin for 2024 the Cobb and Co last coach passenger service coin we'll see how that goes if I can get one of those but we are now on the last roll and looking out for some last roll luck anything from 2017 or 2015 with some color on it would be uh, really fantastic that's a 2015 but not the one we're looking for lots of Aboriginal elders Coming through, there's another 2015, but no, nothing there. I hope that uh, fills your uh, quota of coin news. There's a lot of coins coming out, most of them from the Perth Mint, though, but certainly there'll be some releases for the next two or three months of the Royal Australian Mint. Looking forward to those. No doubt there'll be EQL ballot uh, releases, but we'll see how we go. And that is it for the hunt. So, gone through the $2 coins. We have a few, quite a few there on the table. So, let's go through what we've got. We've got an Australian Olympic team green ring of dedication from uh, 2020. Very nice there. We have the Wallabies coin from 2019 for the World Cup, the Rugby World Cup, and the Wallabies overseas. We have a couple of the Matildas yellow ring coins from 2023. Very, very nice looking coins there low minted as they are and then dorothy the dinosaur another uh, corporate program issue so far uh, only one of these coins that i've shown you is not corporate uh, issued this well, well actually this was uh issued out of Woolworths. i don't think it's on the mints list so they're all, all corporate issues and then for me this oldest coin this 2016 green ring we've got a couple of green and Golds here, yellows and greens. The 2016 Rio Olympics, the Australian Olympic team. So that's pretty much it for today. I think that's quite a good hunt, even though there's no Royal Australian Mint coins. There's quite a variety there of different coloured coins, yellow and green, green, yellow, yellow, green, and green and yellow. So very nice little hunt today. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoy what I do, please uh, subscribe to the channel, leave a thumbs up underneath, and leave a comment down below whether or not all you're finding at the moment is corporate program coins or other coins. Love to hear it. But I will be uh, back for more noodling in a couple of days. So I'll see you then. Bye.